Hello everyone, it's Melanie from Speaking Styles. I hope you've all had an amazing day or you're getting ready to start your day if you're watching from the UK. Today's session I wanted to talk about soft skills and how important they are for your business. Because soft skills are highly valuable for your business. And yes, in the day where technology and, and digital is moving forward into the future, we're still going to need those soft skills because technology and robots are not going to be able to replace them in your business. So one of the, one of the reasons why soft skills is so important for your business and your teams, because it actually increases the confidence of your teams and it actually helps their own personal attributes as well because it then builds strong teams, strong relationships and then they're going to be able to communicate more effectively with your clients, your prospects, your customers so that you can gain new ones, retain the ones that you have and also gain more work from your current clients and prospects because they're able to give them that customer service experience. And also you as the business owner and your team, if you're at a networking event or you're having to send one of your staff members off to present your business, then by having those soft skills, they're going to be able to present your business effectively as if you were there doing it yourself. And then for yourself at a networking event, you could gain some new clients and then be able to build more confidence to get more work from your current clients and customers. So having those soft skills is going to be really valuable and successful to deliver the results for your business. And some of the key skills that soft skills can actually give you is around having those people skills, being able to resolve conflict more effectively. They're able to, you're able to negotiate and you're also able to have healthy debates. So when we look at having conflict, we can actually look at having a healthy debate. So looking at the other person's point of view. So not only your own, you're looking at someone else's point of view, but you're not only just looking at it, you're listening, you're prompting, and you're understanding the other person's point of view, which can actually help in a great discussion. It doesn't mean to say that you're going to agree with them, but you can understand more about where the other person's coming from and you start to see the world from where they're sitting. And other ones as well is around that customer service skill, which is really important in our everyday businesses because we're dealing with clients or we're dealing with customers. And for your business and your team to be able to communicate effectively and give them that customer service experience. And also looking at being able to go to networking events you can go with your team or send your team to them and they're able to have a conversation with other people and talk about your business. And then what's really great about soft skills is it builds strong teams. So you have really good teamwork and it also builds emotional intelligence. So people are able to empathize with people in their own situations. And again, it's looking from, looking from the other person's point of view. We then are able to have creative thinking, innovation. Then your teams are able to manage change and they're able to have more of a flexible and adaptable mindset to change when that happens because our businesses are always evolving. There's new things coming in all the time and being able to have your team trained in soft skills, then they're going to be able to manage that change a lot more effectively to retain those customers and gain new ones and being able to influence their team and the people around them. You can actually influence people in their personal lives and not just in their profession and they gain that confidence in all areas of their life. So that's what's really important about having your team trained with soft skills because it can deliver those results for your business. I want to leave you with a question with a couple of questions to think about in your business. Because does, does your staff team or does your business need training in soft skills? 
because having a look at are you retaining customers are you gaining new customers so having a look at that are you avoiding networking events is your team avoiding having to do go out and do presentations so I want you to think about those questions in your business is how important is it? How important are the people that work for you that actually represent your company when they're out there, out there delivering your service and out there delivering your products? So I want to leave you with those questions around soft skills in your business. And until next week's session, have an amazing day, have an amazing week.